When Walter Boyd first invented HVLS technology, the initial fan consisted of 10 blades. Being the very first fan of its kind, the design worked very well. With Macroware's constant desire to refine and improve, it was out with the old and in with the new, with a new six-blade HVLS fan. It took a lot of years, really, to get it made and reasonably perfected, because simple as it looks, Things are never as simple as they look. We wanted to change the airfoil shape. So we, we knew what we wanted. We wanted a, a blade that had a longer tail on it, uh, that worked through a wider range of speeds. And so we basically adopted this shape. We knew that the um, extrusion industry had the capacity to create that shape for us. It's, as you can see, it's quite a bit larger. Um, so we, uh, we made the extrusion. We started experimenting with it and realized that we could get more airflow out of six blades than the original shape was able to produce with 10 blades. So we um, basically had a win-win situation, fewer blades, more efficiency, uh, more actual airflow. And, uh, and, and we, did, we had a higher rotational speed, so our, our load on the gearbox was reduced. So what that allows us to do is we can take a six blade fan and run it a little bit faster to use the same amount of power and uh, we get more output. We get higher thrust or uh, CFM, um, therefore the six blade is more efficient. With improvements in blade size and shape, a whole new HVLS fan was created. Macroair's six blade HVLS fan weighs 46% less, pushes 10% more air, and lasts twice as long as the outdated 10 blade HVLS fan.